Hello students, in my previous video I have done up to number 14 of 4G and today I am starting from number 15. But if you see question number 15, it is same as question number 6. So I am not showing number 15. Let me show question number 16. Here question is sum of two numbers A and B is 15 and the sum of the reciprocals 1 by A and 1 by B is 3 by 10. Find the numbers A and B. As given in the question, the numbers are A and B and according to the question it is given sum of the numbers that is A plus B is 15. So from here I can write B equals to 15 minus A let it be equation number 1. Again it is given that sum of the reciprocals is 3 by 10. So 1 by A plus 1 by B equal to 3 by 10. The next line we can write 1 by A plus 1 by instead of B I can write 15 minus A. So 1 by 15 minus A equals to 3 by 10. If you take the LCM of A and 15 minus A it will be A into 15 minus A. This LCM divided by A it will give 15 minus A plus this LCM divided by 15 minus A it will give A. So I have written here plus A equals to 3 by 10. This plus A and minus A can be cancelled. So we are left with 15 by A into 15 minus A equals to 3 by 10. Get 15 here 15 into A 15A A into A A square equals to 3 by 10. Now if you cross multiply 3 into 15A minus A square equals to 15 into 10. 15A minus A square equals to 15 into 10 divided by 3. 3 and 15 can be cancelled so it will be 5. So in the next line it will be minus A square plus 15A equals to 5 into 10 50. If I transfer this 15 the other side it will be minus A square plus 15A minus 50 equals to 0. Since coefficient of A square is negative so we can multiply both sides of the equation by minus 1. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by minus 1 this minus will become plus this plus will become minus this minus will become plus and here 0 will remain as it is. Now we got one quadratic equation a square minus 15a plus 50 equals to 0. Here easily it can be done by middle term factorization so I am not using quadratic formula because we know 10 plus 5 is 15 and 10 into 5 is 50. So instead of 15 we can write 10 plus 5. So in the next line it will be a square minus 10a minus 5a. If I add this to minus 10a minus 5a it will become minus 15a. And if I multiply 5 and 10 it will become 50 plus 50 equals to 0. From first to if I take a common it is a minus 10. From last to if I take minus 5 common it will be a minus 10 equals to 0. Remember that after taking common these two parts must be same. Now a minus 10 again can be taken common then we are left with a minus 5 equals to 0. So we got a minus 10 into a minus 5 equals to 0. Either a minus 10 equals to 0 or a minus 5 equals to 0. From here a equals to 10 and since we got b equals to 15 minus a from equation 1. So b will be 15 minus 10 which will give 5. So if I consider a equals to 10 then b equals to 5. This is one set of answer. Again we got a minus 5 equals to 0 which gives a equal to 5. Now if you place the value of a in the equation number 1 which is b equal to 15 minus a then b will be 15 minus 5 which will give 10. So here also we got the numbers 5 and 10. Therefore required numbers are 5 and 10. Now in question number 17 it is given the difference of squares of two numbers is 88. If the larger number is 5 less than twice the smaller number then find the two numbers. As in the question it is given difference of squares of two numbers is 88. We can consider let the numbers be x and y and we are considering x is greater than y. Now according to the question difference of the squares of two numbers is 88. So x square minus y square equals to 88. Let it be equation number 1. Again it is given if the larger number is 5 less than twice the smaller number. If the larger number out of these two larger number is x. So it is given that if the larger number is 5 less. So that's why I have written minus 5 less than twice the smaller number. So we can write second equation as x equals to twice y minus 5. Now we can place the value of x in equation number 1. Then it will be instead of x square we are going to write twice y minus 5. So it will be twice y minus 5 whole square minus y square equals to 88. 
if we apply a minus b whole square formula it will be a square 2yy square minus 2i a into b a here is 2yy b is 5 so a square minus 2i a b plus b square minus y square equals to 88 2 to the 4 y square minus 5 to the 10 10 to the 20 y plus 5 square is 25 minus y square minus 88 equals to 0. Now 4 y square minus y square it is 3 y square minus 20 y plus 25 minus 88 so it will be minus 63 because 88 is the bigger number and symbol is minus so it will be minus 63 equals to 0. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation either by middle term factorization or by quadratic formula. Here I am solving by middle term factorization. As per the rule, we have to multiply the coefficient of y square with the constant number. And if we multiply 3 with minus 63, it is minus 189. Since it is negative, so we need two numbers whose difference should be 20. Since after multiplying 3 and minus 63, I got minus 189 so we have to factorize this 189 the, from this 189 we are going to get 1 into 189 3 into 63 9 into 21 7 into 27 in this way we can express 189 now we need two numbers whose difference should be 20 from these options if I take 27 and 7 27 minus 7 will give 20 so instead of 20 we can write 27 minus 7 so next line will be 3y square minus 27 minus 7y minus 63 equals to 0 so it will be 3y square minus 27y minus minus plus 7y minus 63 equals to 0 from first two I can take 3y common if I take 3y common then we are left with y minus 9 because 3 9 is 27 here Again from last two, I can take 7 common, it will be y minus 9 equals to 0. Now from these two, I can take y minus 9 common, then we are left with 3y plus 7. So either y minus 9 equals to 0 or 3y plus 7 equals to 0. From here y equals to 9 and from here 3y equals to minus 7. So y equal to minus 7 by 3. Now from equation number 1, we got x equal to twice y minus 5. So if y is 9, x equals to 2 into 9 minus 5, 9 to the 18 minus 5, 13. So from here we got numbers as 9 and 13. Here we got y equal to minus 7 by 3. And we know x is twice y minus 5. So x will be twice y minus 5. 7 to the 14. So it will be minus 14 by 3 minus 5. If you take the LCM, then it will be minus 14 minus 15, which will give minus 29 by 3. Now we have considered x is the bigger number but if I compare this y minus 7 by 3 and minus 29 by 3 since minus 7 by 3 is greater but as per our assumption we have considered x is greater so this part is rejected. So the required answer is 13 and 9. Question number 18 is same as question number 13 even question number 19 is of similar type. So I am not showing these two. Let me show question number 20. Here question is three consecutive positive integers are such that the sum of the square of the first and the product of the other two is 46. Find the integers. As given in the question three consecutive positive integers, so we are considering let the consecutive positive integers be x, x plus 1 and x plus 2. Since it is given consecutive, so they are continuous numbers like 7, 8, 9. So if first number is x, second one will be x plus 1 and next one will be x plus 2. As per the question, it is given that sum of the square of first and the product of the other two. So out of this three, this is the first number. So its square is x square plus product of other two. So x plus 1 into x plus 2 sum of these two is 46 so x square plus here we have to multiply x into x plus 2 plus 1 into x plus 2 equal to 46 so x square plus x into x x square plus 2 into x twice x plus 1 into x x plus into plus plus 2 equals to 46 now x square plus x square 2 x square plus twice x plus x 3 x plus 2 minus 46 equals to 0 so it will be 2x square plus 3x minus 44 equals to 0 so we got this quadratic equation which can be solved either by quadratic formula or by middle term factorization here I am using middle term factorization 
Now, if we multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant term 2 into minus 44, it will be minus 88. Since product is negative, that means we need two numbers whose difference should be 3. Now, it, it can be written as 1 into 88, 2 into 44, 4 into 22, 8 into 11. Now, out of these options, we have to select one option where difference of the numbers should be 3. We have to select one option where difference is 3. Here, 11 minus 8 is 3. So, instead of 3, we can write 11 minus 8. So, it will be 2x square plus, instead of thrice x, we can write 11x minus 8x minus 44 equals to 0. From first 2, I can take x common. It will be twice x plus 11. From last 2, if I take 4 common, then it will be twice x plus 11 equals to 0. Just check again. 2 into x into x x square plus x into 11, 11x 11 minus 4 to the 8x plus minus minus 4 11 to 44 equals to 0. Again from these two, twice x plus 11 can be taken common. Then we are left with x minus 4 equals to 0. Either twice x plus 11 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. From here, twice x equals to minus 11, x equal to minus 11 by 2. Since we have considered consecutive positive integers, so minus part is rejected. We are not considering this. From this part, x equals to 4. So since x is 4, first number will be 4, second number will be 4 plus 1, 5, and third number will be x plus 2, that is 4 plus 2 equal to 6. Therefore, required integers are 4, 5, and 6. Question number 21. The difference of squares of two natural numbers is 45. The square of the smaller number is 4 times the larger number. Find the numbers. Here we can consider let the greater natural number be x and the smaller natural number be y. And as given in the question, difference of the squares of these two numbers is 45. So x square minus y square equal to 45. Since we have taken greater number to be x, so x square we have to write first. Again it is given, square of the smaller number is 4 times the larger number. So y square equal to 4x. If we place 4x instead of y square in equation number 1, then it will be x square minus 4x equals to 45. Now, if we multiply coefficient of x square with the constant number 1 into minus 45, it will give minus 45. Since it is negative, we need two numbers whose difference should be 4. Now, 45 can be written as 1 into 45, 3 into 15, 5 into 9. And since we need difference to be 4, so we can consider 9 and 5. So, x square instead of minus 4x, we can write minus 9x plus 5x minus 45 equals to 0. From first 2, x common, x minus 9. From last to 5 common, it will be x minus 9 equals to 0. Again, x minus 9 can be taken common. Then we are left with x plus 5 equals to 0. So either x minus 9 equals to 0 or x plus 5 equals to 0. So we got x equals to 9 and x equal to minus 5. As in the question, it is given natural number and minus 5 is not a natural number. So we are rejecting it. So we have to consider x equals to 9. From equation number 2, it is given y square equal to 4x. So, from 2, y square equal to 4x, x we got 9. So, y square is 4 ninja 36. So, y equal to root over 36, which will give plus minus 6. But as given in the question, both x and y are natural numbers. So, minus 6 will be rejected. Therefore, required numbers are 9 and 6. Question number 22. A two-digit number is such that the product of the digits is 15. If 18 is added to the number, the digits are interchanged. Find the number. Here we can consider let units digit be x and tens digit be y. Then number will be 10y plus x. Suppose 25 is a number, then 5 is the units digit and 2 is the tens digit. The number will be 2 into 10 because 2 is the tens digit we have to multiply by 10 plus 5 here just see 2 into 10 20 20 plus 5 25 so here also unit digit is x and tens digit is y so number is 10 y plus x here we have considered units digit to be x and tens digit is y therefore number will be 10 into y plus x now According to the question, product of the digits is 15. So, x into y is 15. So, y will be 15 by x. Again, it is given, if 18 is added to the number, then digits are interchanged. So, this is the actual number, 10y plus x. If we add 18, then digits will interchange. So, x will come here and y will go there. So, it will become 10x plus y. 
so it will be 10 y minus y plus x minus 10 x plus 18 equals to 0 10 y minus y is 9 y x minus 10 x is minus 9 x plus 18 equals to 0 now I can take 9 common then it will be y minus x plus 2 equals to 0 so y minus x plus 2 equals to 0 by 9 it will become 0 now y from equation number 1 it is 15 by x so instead of y we can write 15 by x minus x plus 2 equals to 0 now here LCM of x 1 and 1 is x so x divided by x 1 1 into 15 15 minus x divided by 1 x x into x x square plus x divided by 1 x 2 into x twice x equals to 0 so minus x square plus 2x plus 15 equals to x into 0 0 now minus 1 into 15 it will be minus 15 since it is negative we need two numbers whose difference should be 2 now 15 can be written as 1 into 15 or 3 into 5 since 5 minus 3 is 2 so instead of 2 we can consider 5x minus 3x so next line we can write minus x square plus 5x minus 3x plus 15 equals to 0 from first to minus x common it will be x minus 5 from last two I can take minus 3 common it will be x minus 5 plus minus minus x into x x square minus minus plus 5 into x 5x minus 3 into x 3x minus minus plus 3 into 5 15 again x minus 5 can be taken common then we are left with minus x minus 3 equals to 0 so either x minus 5 equals to 0 so x equal to 5 minus x minus 3 equal to 0 minus x equal to 3 so x equal to minus 3 now since minus 3 is not a digit so we are rejecting this we have to consider x equal to 5 from equation 1 y equals to 15 by x so here y will be 15 by 5 15 by 5 is 3 therefore required number is 10 y plus x and y we got 3 x is 5 so 3 10 to 30 plus 5 35 so 35 is the required answer this is the last sum from this exercise so that's all for today in the next video i'm going to start from 4 8 till then bye bye take care and wait for the next part